Hey folks, welcome to the channel, and in this case, I have a cool little tip that may be pretty useful for you guys. Maybe some of you are doing it already, maybe not, but let me tell you about it. So, this goes, especially if you like a little bit of the role-playing playing aspect of Star Citizen, but also if you want something more convenient. And I'm talking about jumping from one ship to the other, especially when you have a couple of them going, and keeping track of all of the things you probably want to have. So if you're like me, you probably have your like main daily driver, let's say my, my C1 right now, right? Or maybe you have a Carrack, or maybe you have whatever, right? Whatever ship you have, it's probably not the only one. And you would like to have a way of always keeping the stuff you want to have with you for different missions uh, convenient and not waste a lot of time sorting through all of this. Well, a cool little thing you can actually do is use it uh, just using a box. And by the way, this will be the only way in which you will be able to move stuff once we finally have 323. We no longer have these inventories for, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's going to be implemented for 323. I can tell you that this is the way it is already in Pyro when we had the chance to test it. So, for those of you that don't know, for, three, for 323 you won't be able to access your inventory like this, like hitting I, that will no longer be a thing for 323. Not so sure about the ship inventory, may or may not be. Anyway, the thing is this, when that's no longer the case, what you will need is to put everything in a box, and you can do that already as of right now, which as it turns out, it's quite convenient. Let me just show you what I mean by that. So, I have my guy dressed up with normal ordinary clothes right there's people that do this most people don't they just have their outload already on them all the time which is fine now still there's things you want to have that you probably don't have on you all the time especially when it comes to setting up your ship well you can just come here in other no, custom it's actually others and let's go here to the end what you should do is go to the cargo center or the refineries and buy some of these boxes i would love if we could have names on them like you know expedition loadout or combat loadout, whatever it is but as it is right now you cannot do that but you can prepare them with the stuff you want to have inside so for example i just dropped that box there oh yeah almost killed myself in the process yeah that's nice but anyway we have our box in our ship and this actually attaches to the existing grid so you see you can just leave it there it's not going to be moving you just saw it that in that place uh, you can drop it in ships that don't have that and in my experience they don't move around unless you actually crash and like run towards them so even without a grid i've tried it and it does work but here i keep a decent little loadout that will cover most of my needs. I mean, all of them, basically. So I have, you know, oh, who, who has a multi-tool? Well, you have one here. You have your multi-tool, you have a bit of water, some food, you have the tractor beam. Oh, but I came across this rock that I, I would have loved to be able to mine. Okay, just, you know, use the mining attachment. Uh, an assortment of weapons, some ammunition. You know, I'm actually, actually forgetting a little backpack. So let's throw... Yeah, maybe some fruit so as to be more healthy. Uh, yeah, let's try. And depending on, it, on on what you what you want to do, just get the sort of thing you'd like to have in there. A and that's it. You don't have to set up and move everything for each ship you jump into. And this maybe is more of a thing when you have several ships that you like using often. So instead of wasting time with that, you just pick up the box. I mean, once we have the elevators in our hangars, it's going to be about picking that box up and dropping it in your ship. Um, but for now, it's simply going to be a matter of quickly having everything you need. And, oh, I, I forgot about water. I forgot about this or that. Dying when dropping your cargo because you forgot a bottle of water has happened more than you probably think so all of those things much more convenient put it in a box and move that around on whatever ship you're going in and out of guys it's gonna be all for now remember to subscribe to my channel see you on our next video take care